Welcome to Soccer Factory TV. No field, no friends to play with, no problem. Let's see how this works out. Sometimes you might face a situation that you have no field, you have no friends or teams to play with. So what are you gonna do? Are you gonna just sulk and pout at home and do nothing? Or are you gonna make the best out of it? Very often your imagination or specifically lack of your imagination is hindering your development. Today we're gonna train running and dribbling with the ball without even being on the field. This is by definition running with the ball. Nice little thing is that you do change the sceneries there. And boy, this scenery is something else. But this is by definition running with the ball. You can make small touches, big touches, the trail will always be different for you. Whether this translates directly to the game or not is a little bit irrelevant today because we just have to make the best out of it. When you're running with the ball in the trail, if that really is something what translates to the game, I don't know. But sometimes change the scenery could be refreshing. At least it's something else than always doing the same thing again and again. If you're going for a run, might as well run with the ball then. Running with the ball when you are on the trail is fun because you can go side to side, the trail makes curves, so you're naturally doing different turns. It's uneven, so the ball might bounce a little bit unpredictably. You can go fast, you can go slow. It's pretty much up to you. You can do interval training. Going up the hill is like accelerating, making small touches. Going down the hill is kind of like decelerating and learning how to stop with the ball. Whether it translates to the game really well, I don't know, but at least it's fun and it's something different and definitely refreshing. And of course, every time when you do something like this, there are people who look that you might be crazy. But hey, if you care what the other people do, you will never do what you really want to do. Many times you're labeled crazy before you're a genius. It's a quite a workout, it's fun, and you notice that you're gonna be running faster because the dribbling is so much fun. You will naturally dribble fast, you will naturally run faster. You're starting to adapt with the touches, you feel like you're flying through the trails. And that is running fast with the ball. You just don't notice how time flies, you clock a lot of meters there, it's like an interval training. By definition, running with the ball. You can do turns, cuts, changes directions, going back and forth, whatever you like. Just feel the flow and enjoy the dribble. If this is a game realistic, of course it isn't. But now we're talking about the situation that we don't have field, we don't have friends, but at least this has a chance to translate more to the game than running without the ball. And now I have pretty much three seconds to convince you to click another video on my channel. I'm not quite sure where I edit it, but it's in one of these corners. Thank you for watching. See you next time.